Hey guys, I'm finally looking at top five weirdest endings in movies. But unfortunately, I only could find Disney movies right about now. So if there are any other ones that you guys can think of, let me know in the comments below. I only have thought of a few that I think have weird endings. So if you guys have thought of any others, let me know in the comments below. But for now, here are the top five weird endings in Disney movies and kids movies. But I think just Disney movies in general, pretty much. Number five, The Aristocats. Of course, the Aristocats has to end at a very had a very good note where they just come home, right? Well, not necessarily. I mean, sure, the kittens do get home in the end, and they do end up defeating defeating um, Edgar, but he does get trapped in the chest, and most people say that he's gonna suffocate in there. And I kind of agree, he might be he might not live in there for quite some time. There's no holes in that case. He's gonna probably die before he gets there. But actually, he does for take a classic return in some of the comics. So I guess he does end up surviving that crazy chest anyway. But the one thing that's crazy in this ending is the fact that, that the, the owner of the Aristocats leaves her money still to the cats. Well, which is fine. Okay. Three kittens is fine. But you know what she decides to do after this moment? She decides to let... Thomas and all her alley cat friends stay with her in her home. A home for cats. She lends all the money to them, leaving leading good thing Edgar left, because the cats will be a whole lineage of cats and many others take the money from him away. Poor guy. Again, I'm not saying this is not a bad ending or anything. It's just a little strange that she's leaving all this money to all these cats in the base, in these, in this barn. All the alley cats, they were fine where they were before. They, need to, they didn't need to come back again to, like, stay with it, her. They could have just let her keep the cats she had before, and they could have, like, you know, visited them every once in a while. But instead, she, kept the, she keeps them all in her home and leaves the money all to out to them. I just think, I find it a little crazy. And now, I joke around saying that at the end, she turns out to be a crazy cat lady. And she is. For this. Number four. The Jungle Book. This ending has always been a strange one for me, as a kid. So, after all this time, Mowgli, um, just wanted to see in the jungle. So what convinces them to come out of the jungle? A girl, of all things. Like, okay, um, I guess he was interested in seeing her, but I just don't know. I mean, he never really met the girl, and number one. Number two, um, wouldn't he want to stay in the jungle because that's where his family is? I just don't know why he would go to the jungle for just one specific girl. I guess he was just curious, but... Again, it just seemed, it just come off, as, as a kid, it just came off as very weird for me. I kind of understand it now as an adult, but as a kid, it was always a strange ending for me. Not only like that, but in the original Jungle Book, there was an alternate ending. But it involved a lot of climaxes and stuff. So I can see why they ended up with this ending instead. It, it was short and sweet and it ended up on a, on a high note. So I think the reason why... The ending was a bit cut. It was more related to the book, where, where Mowgli meets a poacher at the village shortly after going there. And he eventually goes there after a chase from Shere Khan. So after that big chase, and he ends up in the man village, he meets the poacher, and he forces him to come back to the jungle, jungle to, to, get, these, to get the ancient ruins from the monkeys. Mowgli said he refuses to do this, and he tries any way to get out of it. So, this whole big climax of Mowgli trying to protect his, trying to protect the jungle, is really another, is another climax. You already got the sheer Khan climax, why do we need this climax? It's like two climax classes in one story, it's, re, it's crazy. So I think with the, with the ending they had, with this one, it was just a better fit. Number three. Pocahontas. Pocahontas' ending is really crazy and weird and a little bit sad. Of course, we know what happens. Kokum dies and... And stuff happens. Um, John Smith gets, in, gets, gets injured. 
So Pocahontas has to say goodbye to him. They're separated. I guess it's a more of a somber ending of a Roman and Juliet ending where they have to be separated from each other and go home and stuff. That just leaves you with a very sour note where she doesn't really get the man she wants. They don't really stay together at all either. They're kind of just kind of like Fox and the Hound. They're together. They have their time. They love each other, but they went their separate ways. And that's it. Which is not a bad ending. I mean, they are all in rubber places and they just can't be together. It's just like a tragedy, really. But it's also not accurate either, in a way. She does end up loving as another man in the sequel. But, again, like, I don't know. It's just a very somber ending, in a way. But in a way, it still leaves a good, good munch of ending. Number two. Ratatouille. This ending is very confusing, so I'll narrow it down to what happens. So Remy ends the movie by saying that saying that his restaurant went for a couple of while being good, but when they found out it was rat it was it was it had all ain't rats in it, they rat them out for good, and they were no longer good. I guess what happened was the restaurant was closed for an hour because they had to get rid of the rats. So, I think shortly after, the rats got out of there, and the other people got to jail, of course, I guess. And I thought for a minute there, the ho the restaurant was closed for good. But no, instead, what happens is that the rats are no longer there, and Remy just helps from time to time with time with the chefs, without them knowing. And Linguini has is a waiter. And so is, um, Colette. Unfortunately, the other chefs don't come back, which is a shame because I really thought they were very depending on, on the characters. Not only like that, but I love their personalities and I wish they could have came back. They all have great instinct personalities and stories. They were all interesting to them. I just loved all their, all of them. I just wish they could have came back and... Could have, like, you know, helped out a bit after the everything that just happened. Oh, well. But the way it ends is it's a pretty happy ending. And Ego still loves the plays either way. And Ray still gets to stay in a very format state. And also the rats get to eat their own time, time too. So that, at least that's nice. I mean, it's not really a bad ending. It just kind of leaves a lot of confusing thoughts about what could have happened towards the end. Number Number one. Before I get to number one, here are a few honorable mentions. The Brave Little Toaster. This one has only been a dark one for me. It's not really Disney related, but this is the dark one for sure. I didn't want it to be this dark. As a kid, I never even watched The Brave Little Toaster. I always wanted to as a kid, but I never really got a chance to. So I came time to watch it. I was very shocked by what people said about it. All dark and stuff. I couldn't imagine what I was watching after I watched it. Especially the ending with the cars and such. I can't say it's a weird ending. It's just a very dark ending. Especially the ending where he tries to rebuild all of them. So it just ends up being a very lackluster dark movie altogether. And now number one. Alice in Wonderland. What can I say? This movie is always weird. But as a kid, it always freaks me out the ending. I'm not really sure why. I guess everybody being mad at her and running after her just really scared me a lot as a kid. I guess. I think with that in mind, that that's why it ended so weird. It ended up abruptly with her waking up. I mean, sure. I mean, like, it was all a dream, I guess. But I guess the way where they were chasing each other was all just very weird to me. At the end, it kind of did freak me out as a kid. It's a, it gave me nightmares a lot, so... I guess I didn't like the fact that they were all mad at her and stuff. And all chasing her right to left. It's just as if the story just broke itself a bit. Like, instead of, like, I don't know, her just waking up after the queen was almost about to, about to you know, cut her head off. They could have, like, uh, off of their head and all that stuff. They could have just, you know, ended it there before she did. And could have made her wake up. But instead, the story goes off... Like, kind of like the book where it goes over the same stories over and over. I don't know. It just kind of exploded as the dream went on. I don't know. It just ended up pretty strange and dark in a way. Anyway, those are my top... 
weird endings. Is there any ones I have missed? Let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you next time. Bye.